Hi, I'm Seth Weil, owner of Seth Weil's Martial Arts and Boot Camp. Today we're going to be shooting part one of our self-defense series. So today we're going to be focusing on the intercepting, uh, also known as the scoff hit. This is uh, oftentimes a, a technique that is used in fencing, where the opponent moves in and I'm disrupting them with a strike of my own. So as my opponent moves to me, as soon as I see him in that preparation to hit, I'm going to throw a strike of my own. So this could be within the range to be able to hit him with my hand, or if I'm at a little bit further out, I can also use my foot. Um, the two primary uh, focuses are going to be to the eyes or the groin. These are the best, most kind of think of them as shut off valves. As soon as you hit, their, their reaction is going to be to go right to those spots. Um, if you're if I'm in too close, this is too easy for uh, Mike to be able to reach out and grab me. He can hit me, um, whatnot. So I want to make sure I'm at it, keeping that distance. Because now from here, he has to move to me. As, while he's in that process of, of moving in, that also gives me an opportunity to, to strike. If we're in too close and Mike goes to move, he knows he's going to move before I do. So I always want to remember to keep a distance. So one way to do that is if I, from here, if I can reach him, I want to take one step back. So now he has to actually come into me, and that's when I strike. So again, we're at this distance. As soon as Mike comes in, if I get my finger right to his eye, and I'm going to take off. If he comes in, I, get, I kick, land that kick to the groin, he reacts, I'm going to, again, I'm getting out of there. Um, but remember one, one more thing, is that when you're getting, uh, when you sh right after my strike, I want to back up facing him a couple uh, steps back before I turn and run. It's just in case he's not uh, hurt um, or he's able to quickly recover for whatever reason, if I turn my back, he can then grab me and I'm in a worse uh, situation. So again, when I, after I strike, I want to move back facing him. Once I'm well out of uh, distance of him being able to grab me, then I can turn and run. Thank you for watching and visit us on the web at martialartschico.com.